do you know about Mary Ellen Winston? Well, the other day some girls were comparing notes. They were trying to figure out who had the worst time with you. Of course, Mary Ellen won by default. The other girls are too grossed out to tell their stories. Well, you were the laughing stock of the girls' locker room. Remember, it's better to have loved and lost. You don't do either. How often you get a date? Just waiting for Mr. Wright to sweep me off my feet. How could he? You're always flying around on your broomstick. <laughs> Listen, that Mr. Wright stuff is just an excuse. So just remember, when you're a pathetic, lonely old lady telling yourself you're waiting for Mr. Wright, just remember, he's not coming. Well, do you think I like it this way? Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Arnold, leave me alone. Oh, come on, Lisa. I didn't mean it, honest. Well, whether you meant it or not, it's the truth. Hey, we're all in the same boat waiting for Mr. Wright. You too? Yeah, sure. I mean, not Mr. Wright, but Miss Wright. <laughs> now, you know what I mean. I don't believe you, Arnold. Are you really? You know how I have this reputation. Everybody thinks I'm such a ladies' man. They do. <laughs> well, some people do. They do. Charlie does. <laughs> Look, the point is, Maybe there isn't a Miss Wright or a Mr. Wright. But there's a lot of great people out there, and you just have to make an effort to get involved with them. It's, it's got to be a lot nicer hanging on to real people than just dreams. Oh, now what's the matter, Lisa? I don't know. All that stuff I said before about people looking below the surface and everything. I'm just afraid no one will with me. Can I be honest with you? Yes. But not too honest. I really don't want to tell you this because, well, it's kind of a compliment, you know? But when I first saw you, I really didn't think you were the horse face I think you are now. That's quite a compliment, Arnold. Well, I thought you were kind of foxy. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe you said it either. I thought the same thing about you, too, at first. Oh, you mean you couldn't stand me? No, that was after I met you. <laughs> I thought you were kind of cute, too. Kind of cute or real cute? I can't remember. You can lie. <laughs> real cute. But that doesn't mean that I like you. So, uh, thought I was kind of foxy, huh? Only from a distance. <laughs> but the closer I got, the less attractive I got. Was it because of my looks or my personality? Like I said, it's your personality. It's what's on the inside that's putting people off. They've never seen what's on the inside. They see what you show them. It's too bad they don't see what you're showing me right now. Is that making me more attractive, like when you first saw me? Well, when I first saw you, you know, you were a little different. You had your hair down and stuff. Would you like me to let it down? Sure. Well? <laughs> You know, I'm tired and I'm hungry, but I must look terrible. Ah, oh, you look fine. Arnold, this is a first. You had a perfect opportunity to insult me with one of your dumb jokes, and you didn't. I know. Arnold, why is this happening? I don't know. Maybe the fumes in here are getting to us. <laughs> I don't think it's the fumes, do you? Nah. confused as I am right now. Are we gonna end a boyfriend and girlfriend? I don't know. I can't believe what we're talking about. Neither can I. What's everyone at school gonna think Monday? What do you think? I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> 